Whether you wear a cowboy hat or a farmer's cap, if you've got cattle, you pay your beef checkoff. But did you know that for every dollar invested, it returns a $5 bill? So get to know your checkoff. Sponsor of this week, Samuelson says. No question, 2009 has been a challenging year for agricultural producers. We've seen a sharp reduction in net farm income. Dairy and hog producers have been especially impacted. As a matter of fact, the December issue of Dairy Herd Management on the front cover said, Good riddance, 2009 will go down as a year we'd all like to forget. But inside, I found a little more positive tone, and I'd like to share that with you as we come to the end of 2009. An article entitled, What We Have Learned from 2009, quoting six dairy farmers. Gail Moser of Whitney, Idaho, don't spend it before you make it. The Scott Brothers from California, be thankful for what you have. Liz Dornick of Baldwin, Wisconsin, be open and honest. Ted Borsma and T.J. Curtis of Cimarron, Kansas. Don't forget what's really important. And James Davis and Ron and Lydia Lewis of Couchilla, California. Out of every negative comes a positive. And then I leave you with this one from Ryan Anglin of Bentonville, Arkansas. Don't forget your family. He goes on to say family is always important, but in times like these, it becomes even more important. Family is the only support you really have. But employee loyalty has also played a role in our business surviving this year. Our employees have stuck by us. They've gone without raises and have been truly an asset getting us through this year. And then looking to the future, he said he will look at forward contracting his milk and grain to eliminate some of the ups and downs of the roller coaster price ride. Some optimism, some positive thinking as we come to the end of 2009 by folks who have been impacted in a challenging way financially. So here's to a better 2010. My thoughts on Samuelson Says.